work across just like you're doing here. Well, last time I used the Viva towel and let all this lint on my canvas. I wasn't yeah, happy with it. Well, I'll show you how to get rid of it. That's, that's, the, you want a Viva towel because it's absorbing. It's taking up the oil. You know what I mean? See how mm -hmm. this is actually, you're going to actually be able to hold this with your bare hands when I'm done. So some towels you prefer over others? Hmm? Viva's a Viva. Viva. Viva's yeah. the towel. <laughs> I would have done a commercial for them if they'd let me, or no. if I even told them about it. Me because too. this is going on YouTube, you know. From my cleaning and everything now. Okay. Since I found out about them. Okay. See that now? Mm -hmm. See how nice that is? Yeah. Now you literally, and then you just go the other way, back and forth. Remember, I told you how you go back and forth with the weave, and you can do as many different directions as you want, but you want to keep rotating it. And I'm going to keep going on this for a while because I'm not lifting anymore. See that? I'm just working it into the weave, taking the oil off the surface. Isn't that nice? Really beautiful texture. Yeah, yeah a nice tone. And a good texture, too, as well. Can you just stop for a second so I can get a picture of it without... Okay. That's good. Okay, thank you. Okay, now... I'll wipe this off. I'll show you something. Back about the corners. Now here, somebody who doesn't have gloves on, hold on to it. No, hit. Go touch the surface. Oh, for him. Yeah, a nice feel. Look at that. It almost Good feels like know. wax, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it does. Feel that. Feel that waxy feel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does. See that? It's amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. Now you can paint into that, and it's not like painting wet into wet. Yeah. If you got a light brush, you actually can paint right on the paint top right of here. And if you want to go into it, give it a little bite, just push in a little bit, and it'll pick mm -hmm. up the color and go in there. But it'll never completely come off now. You see? That's cool. Wow. You could even drip turpentine on here and let it drip. But you'd still have some color in it. It wouldn't go white on you. Which is another interesting thing to do, by the way. A little trick I just let put out there. <laughs> Years ago, I had a teacher that would do that and then run a streak of, streak of color old, across and let it drip down and then an make old, it white. But you know what that is? That's an old illustrator's trick. Yeah, it was fun. Look at the old Frazetta mm -hmm. illustration stuff when you wanted rock texture and all kind of dripping. And it's stuff fun. But isn't that a nice surface? It's, yeah. like a piece of, it's like wax. Yeah. And it's still slightly wet. So now what you do is you, um, now I don't need these anymore. Thank God. Thank you, though, Judith, for that. Those. Okay, now the next step, obviously, is the drawing. And okay, what I'm going to stop.